good morning to all you wrestling fans and the Godfather of Soul, Justin Lewis Swimming. Hope all of you enjoyed the Illumination Chamber today, early this morning. And, uh, and, uh, a little, uh, um, I'll say the show was both good and bad. And, um, and, uh, well, it's really, it's really, it was, it was really both good and bad, and um, I uh, really um enjoyed it. About what, um, watching the camera command five a.m. came on at five a.m. in the morning, man. Five a.m. in the morning. The show. And uh, how I can s say um um this uh. It's pretty bad, good, but some bad. Live, you know, in Perth, Australia. Now, uh, the show. Let's see. Now, the show began with uh, the first match, the Women's Elimination Chamber match. It was uh, Bianca Belair, Raquel Rodriguez, Liv Morgan. Tracy the Barbie wannabe Stratton in there. Becky Lynch and uh let's see. Hold on. Opus Stadium uh, 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 it was Opus Stadium in Australia. And uh let's see. Yeah, there were a lot of storms. There were a lot of storm storms in uh um, in there, and um. Let me tell you what the worst thing they did. The worst thing they did was cancel. They canceled the match, on um, Brock Lesnar. And it brought Lesnar because yeah, there was yeah Brock Lesnar was especially supposed to appear in Lumis Chamber. Um, Brock Lesnar who appeared at at SummerSlam in August of 2023, which last year was planned to have. Made his return at the Royal Rumble in the Men's Royal Rumble match, and it was planned that he would have been eliminated by Dirty, by that um, Rey Mysterio shitheaded son, Dominic Mysterio, to set up a match 22 at Elimination Chamber. However, due to Lesnar's being referred to in a sex trafficking lawsuit against Vince, Vincent Kenny McMahon, Vince McMahon, Lesnar was pulled. From the Royal Rumble was all playing storylines for him lo loading into WrestleMania 40, which was scrapped. Now the first match of the show um, was the pre-show, um, the women's tag team elimination, the women's tag team match, Kabuki Warriors and Candice, Kabuki, uh, the, um, the Kabuki Warriors, um, um, Kyrie and Asuka. Sorry, no offense to the Asians. I said Gook, Kabuki Warriors. I mean, Kabuki Warriors, because Gook is a, a little um, slang for Asians. Sorry, but um, no offense. And, uh, see. What happened in the uh, first uh, pre show, uh, Pre-show in the match. Uh, let's see, I'm trying to find something. It was a Kabuki. Oh, it was a Kabuki Warriors versus Candice LeRae. Kabuki Warriors versus Candice LeRae and Indy Hartwell. Well, in the pre in the pre show and tag team match. 
Uh, yeah, uh, Indy Hartwell, hometown hero, heroine. Did a little slant, she did a little slam into, to, uh, um, took a little, some little chops, little chops to, to do, um, to, uh, to Oscar. And, uh, wow, what happened? She, sh Kyrie tripped down Indy, knocked her down, and she, bam, busted right through the wall. And, uh, wow, this is terrible. Yeah, Kabuki Warriors won. Wow. Terrible is not good for our own home country. For uh um Indy Hartwell. Man. She lost. Did she lost um they're dead. she and Candace were about this close. This close from becoming tag team champion, women's tag team champions. This close, but the crowd applauded her, applauded her and Candace tonight. They did real good. Now, the next one was the next one was the uh, elimination chamber match for the to kick off the show. The elimination chamber match for the for a, for a women's world championship match at WrestleMania 40. Becky Lynch, participants were Becky Lynch, Bianca Belair, Liv Morgan, Naomi, Raquel Rodriguez, and Tiffany, the Barbie doll, the wannabe Stratton. I think she's Margot Rob Robin. And, uh, and, uh, let's see. Okay, Becky Lynch. Okay, Becky Lynch did a little some little chop, um, little, see little chops and throws to Naomi in the first in the first half. Yeah. Bam! Slams Becky down the floor. Naomi slams Becky door. Up she goes on the top ropes. Bam, leaps her, now falls down. Liv stops it. Tries to cut me cover. Liv tries to make cover and Becky kicks out. Okay, 15 minutes. Let's see who, who comes out. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Who is it? Oh, oh, Liv Morgan. Oh, it's Tiffany. Oh, it's Tiffany Stratton. Oh, it's Tiff. I was, uh, if I was, um, oh, 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 if I was, oh, Liv Morgan comes out. Okay, sorry about that, uh, everybody. I don't know what's going on with my fucking webcam, man. As I was saying, uh, yeah, Tiffany Stratton is in there, and uh, uh, out came Raquel. Uh, here comes Raquel Rodriguez right now. In the elimination chamber, slamming Becky down, slamming Becky, crashing her into the um, chamber. Took down Tiffany Stratton. And uh, Naomi. Well, everyone else was eliminated. Everyone else. Uh, sole survivor was Becky Lynch. Uh, 
Bianca Bell eliminated, Liv Morgan eliminated, wanted her to win. Raquel Rodriguez eliminated, but she had a pretty good effort, and it's sad that she has uh, MCAS disease syndrome. Uh, MCA, the uh, mast cell AV, aviation syndrome, whatever it was, I forgot what it's called. And it's Tiffany Strat, Tiffany the uh, Barbie doll wannabe Stratton. Overrated. But congratulations to Becky Lynch, she won't win. And uh, I feel like Lil Morgan should have won this match, 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 in my opinion. But Becky's a good, good, still good. Still pretty good. Next one, uh, next one, uh, we go to skip this little fucking Bailey promo, Cam Boy. Um, let's see, next one now, the Pete Dunn versus uh, Pete Dunn and uh, Tyler Bate. The uh, their the, 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 the tag team name, um, the Republic, something like that. Yeah. Yeah, the new ch the new something Republic versus the Judgment Day Suckfest. Dirty, shitty, d dumb, dumb, and uh. Finn Balor. You see, still got the briefcase. Send your money in the bank. Still got the briefcase. Damien Priest. Yeah, uh, <sighs> see, yeah, Dalmic Mysterio was running his mouth and he got in, in, in um. Yeah, Dum Dum had a lot of nerve to take that little microphone off from the, from that uh, from uh, from that uh, from that dude. But you know what? Let's let me tell you who had to shut him. Listen to this. Shut up. Please shut up, Dom Dom. Yeah, good. Good, they're not wasting any time. Who can blame them? Someone shut, shut. Finally had to shut them up. They don't want to waste any time. Who can blame, who can blame Pete Dunn and Finn Balor? But the Judgment Day Suckfest won the match. Yeah, Judgment Day Suckfest won the match. Now next one, uh next one is this. Uh Hey, uh, see, um, okay, okay, now we go to Grayson Waller effect. Special guest, uh, where Seth Rollins, 
Seth freaking Rollins, Cody Rhodes. We have um, Austin Theory, the pain in the ass. Um, he's out here talking crap stuff about. Um, well, um, you know he the Rock calls the fan, calls everyone uh, a bunch of Cody crybabies. Hold on a second. Calls the fans a bunch. Of, yeah, the Rock called a little the fans a bunch, bunch of call the fans. Um, Cody Crybabies. Well, um, why come he, he, why come he didn't use, um, Cody Crybaby Jabronis? Cause y'all, cause Rock always says Jabroni all the time. That's his little catchphrase, Jabroni. But Grayson Waller got a little booze from his little, um, Australian fans. But they still like him a little bit. Some like him, some do. From dreamer to doer, it's about finding the right path and the right people to walk along. Oh, she texts At Indiana Wesleyan University, he helps dreamers become doers. The road ahead is closer than you so think. Ignore that. Ignore that. Um, just ignore the, those ads. I hate hate those ads. Um. Now let me tell you. Um. Um. Listen to this from uh, uh, Austin Theory. This is what, what he he said said. This is what he said. Uh, uh, Austin Theory said. Uh, he's uh, doing trying to. He's out here, out here trying to act, act all arrogant and cocky and all that crap. Trying to figure out find what this part what he does. Come on, come on, come on. Wasting too many time. Okay, okay, see. Come on. Trying to look these stupid advertisements on daily motion. Okay, Grayson. This is what. Uh, this is what. Okay, this is what this this stupid idiot, this fucking idiot. Um. Just watch what he's uh, this idiot. Um, austerity says he does a little. Rock impression, watch. Hold on. Hey, shut your damn mouth. Let me let me get this straight. You think you're gonna face the rock? Is that what you think? Huh? That's what you think, right? It doesn't matter what you think. Huh. Give me a break. <laughs> no, no. Hey, hey, you gotta admit, that was pretty good. That was that was that was no, pretty I good. I know it was pretty good, but I got more. I got more. You got more. You got another one? Finally! Austin Theory has come to Perth. Give me a break. Shut up. To finish his story. <laughs> nah, he's good. That's your boy, right? He's good, man. Hey, you got the big one? You got the big one? You know, you got the big one. Come on. Jacket off. Take the jacket off. Come on. Come on, big body. Take the jacket off. Show him. Show him what it's all about. Yeah, that's it. Come on. If you're some man. <laughs> oh. Oh. Cody Hunter. Here it comes, Cory. Gonna humiliate the 150 million hitman. And Wallace gonna watch it happen. Yeah, someone, yeah, someone, yeah, so, yeah, thank God these two did, Cody and Seth had to shut his mouth, his fucking mouth, 
so awesome theory. I mean, what exactly is he coming out here with your little catchphrases, with my, or trying or saying the rock catchphrases? What exactly he knows about the rock anyway? I mean, he was. I mean, he was even a baby before, but he was even um, a little baby. He was even. He was born in 1997. He was even the baby when when the rock became popular. He was even. What does he know about the attitude era? Anyway, he wasn't even. He was even. He was even a baby when the attitude era began. He he he. And he doesn't. He says the rock's catchphrases. It doesn't matter. When he's an idiot. Now, uh, now let me tell you the next one that makes me want to cringe right here. The Elimination Chamber match. The men's Elimination Chamber match. Drew McIntyre versus Bobby Lashley versus Kevin Owens, LA Knight, Logan Paul, and Randy Orton. For a championship match at WrestleMania 40. So, uh... Now, 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 now let me tell you what, what ha happened, um... A couple of minutes later in the match, this is what happened. This arrogant piece of shit, Logan Paul, d distracts Randy Orton. He distracts Randy Orton. He was that this close to becoming, uh, yeah, everyone was eliminated. Kevin Owens, L.A. Knight, I want L.A. Knight to win too. And I want also Kevin Kevin Owens to win, right? But um. You know, Randy Orton's kind of, kind of a little bit old news, a little bit old news. I mean, I mean, but I really, because I, I really, he's, he's, he's a good athlete. Randy Orton's a good athlete. No, no, um, bottom line, he's, the, Randy Orton's good. He's one of the best athletes in the history of WWE, Randy Orton. I re, um, he's old news, but, uh, no, 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 no disrespect. Uh, Ellen Knight should have won. I think Kevin Owens should have won. Um. I don't know, um, but um, Bobby Bobby Lashley had his chance being champion. Uh, Logan Paul doesn't deserve he owes it already. The worst thing he did was he he distracted Randy Orton, and bam, this whiny Scottish psychopath Drew McIntyre wins the match. And I'm not I'm, that really pissed me off. He won the match thanks to, and all because of Logan Paul. Damn you, Logan Paul. Damn you. Damn you, you arrogant, dumb, blind bastard! So that means we're gonna see. That means that and then now we must, this means is is Seth Rollins versus Drew McIntyre at WrestleMania 40. Damn. This means that once again we, 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 we um, Drew McIntyre is now gonna, gonna take that t t um take that top of Seth Rollins. He's gonna show you how terrible it's gonna be the w w terrible match wrestling at WrestleMania 40. I rather watch Cody and Roman instead of, instead of Seth versus versus uh, Drew. From dreamer to doer, it's about. I mean, this, this right just uh, uh, just yeah, uh, forget um, ignore that little ad. Universe, um, we help dreamers become doers. This de the this is just terrible, JD. This is just completely terrible. If you're watching this video, this little uh, live stream. It's um this this this, this, this you know um why 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 you no know, Drew McIntyre likes to go up to Triple H and Nick Khan to have everything handed to so so play watch Drew Mac, Drew McIntyre is gonna win this match and it's gonna show you how poor WrestleMania 40 is gonna be. Is a little is match. Now the next one, the main event, the main event, Rhea, the whore Ripley versus Nia My Whole Jacks. In our hometown of Australia. You know both 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 you know both Nia Jax. Fun fact. Here's a fun fact. Nia Jax. And Rhea Ripley are both native Australians. She was born in South Wales, Australia, but uh, and Rhea Ripley was is a fellow Australian as well. But um, Nia Jax is um, 
was born was born to a some was is part uh German and part Samoan. And she was raised in Honolulu, Hawaii, says on Wikipedia. She's a she's part German, part Samoan. And she yeah, she's a she was she's a Australian, she's a um um German, she's an Australian American pro wrestler born. She's in a yeah, she's a Samoan American born in Australia with, with German national German nationality and some a little bit of Samoan blood blood in her. I I didn't know she I I I don't know I I I I, I think early on I figured I'm not, I'm not gonna lie I knew Becky was gonna win. I really want want back but the women's elimination chamber match I, um. Becky, Becky, I, I, I figured Becky was gonna pull this off, but I knew she would win. But I, and I was right. I predicted Becky would win. And um, I and, and um, but today the Rhea the Horror Whipper, she dethroned. She, I mean, she destroyed Nia Jax today. I um, I knew I um. I don't know. I don't know if I knew she was gonna um, retain her title, or I, I, or I, I um, or Nia just becomes a new women's 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 champion. But she won it. She retained her title in her hometown. So now it's Becky versus Rhea, the whore. Becky the man Lynch versus Rhea the whore Ripley at WrestleMania 40. And um. But I got a little prediction for the main this man the women this women's this raw women's title match at WrestleMania 40. I predict that uh my prediction my prediction for Becky versus Rhea at WrestleMania 40. This is my what I predict. This is why I believe what happened in the raw women's title match at WrestleMania 40. Yeah, uh, yeah. By the way, Rick Rhea, um. Much as I don't like her, congratulations. She won in her, won in her own town in front of fans, fun in front of the crowd. And uh, I, this is what I predict what happened in, back in, the, in WrestleMania 4 the prediction between Becky versus Becky versus um, Nia. Becky, Becky versus um, Rhea. Liv Morgan will interfere. And. Uh, Becky and, and um attack attacks um attacks and destroys and destroys Rhea the Horror Ripley um your little revenge pair for um putting out an action about a year ago and bam Becky the man lives her dream at WrestleMania 40. And there'll be little boo boos from the crowd and all that shit from the Philadelphia fans because um the little Philly screw job. Um, I don't care what all of you say a little about, about that, um, that, that saying that, that Rhea screwed, that, that, that Liv Morgan screwed Rhea, but who gives, gives a shit, shit anyway? Rhea got, Rhea asked for it. Rhea, Rhea might, might, might ask for it. Rhea will ask for it if Liv Morgan cost, cost, um, Rhea Ripley the WWE Raw Women's title. Because she, she, she will ask for it. After putting her out of action about a year ago, if if you make her make her a little baby face, because she's still in judgment. Let me remind you that Brie Ripley's still part of judgment now, so that would make sense make sense for her for your fans to boo her. I mean, I mean she's a, she's a female version of Roman Reigns, because both Roman because she because both Roman and Rhea have the both same initials R R. She deserves. She doesn't. Let me remind you. She doesn't deserve to have. Rhea doesn't deserve to have that raw woman's that WWE raw woman's title belt in the first place. The only reason she got that fucking raw woman's title belt because of the Judgment Day Suck Fest and how she has. She's been cheating to win. Don't forget all the bad shit she's been doing. She's doing to other wrestlers. People like like. Um, she tried to do the uh many other bully other other women um um like Bianca and. Also, so many others. Liv Morgan, Raquel, 
Chief Raquel. The list goes on and on. And don't forget she 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 invaded the home of, of her boyfriend Dum Dum's house of Ray Mysterio and invaded Christmas and invaded Christmas back in December 2023. So I don't give, give a shit, shit if the fan, Philadelphia fans boo boo to hell, boo to hell out of Liv Morgan for what she did just because she was butthurt because she didn't get, she didn't win, she didn't get the um, the title shot and the, um, she didn't win the Olympic tenure get get a shot at um, WrestleMania 40. Who? I mean, I I really don't care what anyone says. Rhea Ripley. It, 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 I bet you it, it's going. It, um, I don't care if you say if you say it's, a, it's you. Um, you th I bet you it's going to be a little Philly screw job at WrestleMania 40, and and I like that. Remember when Vince McMahon said that that um Brett's that Vince McMahon didn't screw Brett, but Brett screwed Brett. But um, some of you fans are going to some of the fans in Philadelphia are going to say that Rhea that Liv Morgan screwed Liv screwed Rhea. Well, you're wrong. Rhea didn't screw Liv Morgan. Rhea didn't. Liv Morgan didn't screw Rhea Ripley. Remember, remember when Brett Hart, Vince Man said that Brett Vince Man didn't screw Brett. Brett screwed Brett. Well, this this is what well, it was WrestleMania 40. It will be a WrestleMania screw job in, in the women's in, in the WWE Women Raw Women's Title Match at WrestleMania 40 between Liv between Rhea Ripley and Becky Lynch. And I'll say to myself that Rhea Ripley, that Liv Morgan didn't screw Rhea Ripley. Rhea Ripley, it was Rhea Ripley that screwed Rhea Ripley. A year ago, she was, she did this this um crikey put Liv Morgan out of action, and you fans turn a blind eye to her. She I mean, I mean, she, I mean, you fan why in the world would you I mean wh I mean why in the world would you cheer for someone who's been put out of action? Liv Morgan is a victim, not a bully. The real bully is Rhea Ripley. She thinks she can. She, I mean, she, she, she she's intimidated people. She sees bully people, bully people, and tormented uh, Judgment Day. She, well, what she did to, to Dominic, um, Rey Mysterio, and his Rey Mysterio, his boyfriend's son, and his boyfriend's mom. Um, Ray, Myster Ray Mysterio's wife, Chapman, yeah, yeah, Ray Mysterio's mother, I mean, that Dum Dum's mother, Chris Thanksgiving and Christmas, Valentine's Day, all that garbage. I really never, I mean, I really don't care what, what you say about what, uh, like, what if you guys don't like what I say about Rio, too, too, too bad, because she, cause she had this coming. Trust me, it's gonna be a Philly screw job at, in, in the women in the, in the Raw Women's Title match, in at, um um between Liv Morgan, between Rhea Ripley and Becky Lynch, because Rhea will, will brought will brought this on herself. If you, I mean, some of you fans, some, the Philadelphia fans, and the, all you WWE fans will be hypocrites and traitors. I mean, Liv Morgan. I mean, I mean. Let someone should should remind should, someone should remind um Rhea Ripley that she's that this isn't this is this isn't Perf she's not this isn't Perf Australia when she goes into WrestleMania 40 she's in she's back home she's this is this isn't Australian soil she's in no more she's back home she's back in American soil and Liv Morgan is American and she and and, and Rhea the whore is Australian. If they boot the shit out of she, if they boot the shit shit out of uh, boot the shit out of Liv Morgan, I'll be really pissed because she doesn't deserve this kind of treatment by WWE. All the fan, all the fans, fans will be trade, 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 um, traitors to boo an Australian. I mean, to boo, to boo, and boo an American and cheer for an Australian. It's like it's like it's, it's like it's like committing treason, like like um. Like on the merit, like like a like a like a CIA agent doing um like a CIA agent turning against his own country and and, and um and um, becoming a, a um turning on his own country, joining the KGB 
KGB with the Russians, in my opinion. If they, you know, if WWE doesn't treat treat Liv Morgan the same way, she can she can quit WWE and go to AEW with her um with her um former Riot, Riot Squad friend um Ruby Y, who's now with Ruby Soho in AEW. I think the only reason why you fan fans, I think all of you fans are still butthurt uh, over um fans are a little butthurt over over um um uh, over the fact um she that uh, you um if you boo live if they boo live Morgan all of them would be butthurt just because they had to get because they she waited the last chance to cash in her money in the bank um against um the cashing on round of Rousey. I think that's the reason why you hate hate you hate um little more a little more because she's um maybe maybe because she's no saint she did bad bad shit then and, and, and Ray Ripley with the riot squad like with with with, lit, with um Ruby Soho who's now in AEW and and um Sarah Logan who's now Fahala in WWE. All of them be hypocrites and traitors, in my opinion. Cause all, the, cause all you seem to seem to forget, cause all you seem to forget, um, that, um, they, I mean, I mean, I mean, you know, I think they, 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 they if, 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 let's say, if Lil Morgan cost Rhea Ripley, if Liv Morgan cost Rhea Ripley. The WWE title and get in and she gets booed. That'll that'll no that'll 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 be crazy. Did you they, um? I didn't know they 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 should they, uh, I I think Liv Morgan should they should cheer for her instead of booing her to make her a popular heel and let Barry Ripper be a be a boo let, let, let be a pop be a cheer heel let Rhea be a boo babyface face because she's still in Judgment Day and let and Becky Lynch becomes the new. WWE Raw Women's Champion, cause cause that cause Lee, cause Rhea Ripley brought this brought that brought that bring that on herself for getting for putting Liv Morgan out of action. I don't care um um care about but um I hope I I bet who knows if the Philadelphia fans will boo Liv Morgan for costing her her costing Rhea the WWE Raw Women's title or maybe they might. Cheer that cheer 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 for her for cheer her for costing Rhea Ripley the, the Raw Women's title because they because they remember it Rhea Ripley clear action about a year ago. I don't care what anyone says because all you seem to forget about SummerSlam 2018 when when Becky when Becky Lynch refused when the fans refused to boo the hell out of Becky Lynch. When she turned turned on heel on Charlotte Charlotte Flair, and no, and what about WCW Fall Brawl 1999 when Sting when the fans cheer for Sting, um, and when he turned on Hogan and the fans refused to boo Sting because Hogan it's all about Hogan's ego. Just like just like when when just like oh just like just like when Becky Lynch turned heel, on Becky Lynch turned heel on Charlotte Flair they they they. they they refuse to refuse to boo out Becky Lynch because it's all about Charlotte Flair's fucking ego. Same thing. And if you think I'm trying, if you fans think I'm trying to, that well, Becky, if you fans think think that that what Becky Lynch, or what Rhea Ripley, what what um, it, it, WrestleMania 40, in the match between Becky Lynch and Rhea Ripley for the Raw Women's Title of WrestleMania 40, if you think that what well, what if you if you think well if you say to me well Justin that's different what Rhea what what Liv Morgan did did to Rhea Ripley what Rhea Ripley I mean Liv Morgan costing Rhea Ripley the WWE title and getting booed by fans is different I mean I mean I mean Liv I mean huh some I mean Rhea Ripley it's a little bit different than Becky Lynch turning heel on Charlotte with the fans not booing her, than Liv Morgan costing 
Call the Lou Morgan costing Rhea Ripley Rollins title and getting boot booed. Well, I don't care what anyone says. Rhea Ripley will look, will will get what she deserves. She she she'll lose that Rollins title. And who can, I I I wouldn't blame Liv Morgan. She's been tormented. She, she I mean she's she I means she's she she's a victim. Not a bully. The real bully is Rhea the Horror Ripley. That cracky. Sorry, but no offense to the Australians. But I'll say it was tonight that today was good or bad, and we now so it's now it's official and since now that's now it's official. Now that it's official, um, we're gonna see Becky versus Rhea at WrestleMania 40. Yep, we'll see. This is really going to be a good, good pay-per-view, good, good match. Well, I'll say today's um, Elimination Chamber um, uh, was really good today, really good, both good and bad today. Who want? I mean, I mean, it, it, I mean, I'm I'm very pissed off that at um. I'm pissed that Seth Rollins, I mean that Drew McIntyre won because he wants wants to have, have everything handed to him on fucking silver platter and all that shit. While well, have everything be about him. If, if, if he if I mean give it I mean Seth Rollins I mean Drew McIntyre should just let it go. It's 2023, Drew, not 2000. It's not it's 2000. It's uh, hold on. Let's see what um when he went let's see trying to find when Drew McIntyre When did he win the WWE Championship? Drew McIntyre. Yeah, yeah, give it, yeah, give it up, Drew McIntyre. Give it up. Stop being butthurt. It's 2020. I mean, it's 2023, not fucking 2020. If he, you know, if Drew McIntyre beat beat Seth Rollins, dude, this will be 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 a little, little, little shit on WWE. But you know what? Don't worry. I think Seth Rollins is gonna. I think Seth Rollins is gonna retain his title. And he and Drew McIntyre could whine, complain, and shit all he want. And Seth Rollins will live his dream at WrestleMania at WrestleMania 40. You know what I think? I think uh I think this goes back to I think the reason why he wants to challenge Seth Rollins because it goes all the way back to uh let's say uh This goes this this goes all the way back to uh I think this goes all the way back to uh 2009 I think this goes all the way back to 2000 yeah I think this goes all the way back to uh 2000 and, I think this goes all the way back to 2020 yeah, they had, or or something like that, or or maybe two thousand. And... 
Yeah, I think this goes all the way back to 2021 or something, yeah, something like that between Seth Rollins and um, Seth Rollins and um, Drew McIntyre. Well, give, well, all I can say is this: give it up, give it up. I mean, I mean, I'm, I'm gonna say, I mean, I said 2023 is 2020, I mean, 2024. I mean, I mean, all I say is this: Drew McIntyre, give it up. It's 2024, not 2020. Okay, you had your chance being champion, and, and like I said, I hope um, Seth Rollins is gonna retain, and Drew McIntyre could go go back being butt hurt and cry all at once. And Seth Rollins is gonna live his dream at WrestleMania 40, like just like Eddie Guerrero lived his dream at WrestleMania 20, and uh, just like like um, just like just like Shawn Michaels lived his dream at WrestleMania 12 in 1996. Eddie Guerrero, yeah, Eddie Guerrero lived his dream 20 years ago at WrestleMania 20, 2004. And Shawn Michaels lived his dream at WrestleMania 12 in 1996. Well, it, it's just it's really some 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 was some was good and some was bad today at uh, Elimination Chamber. Wasn't pretty that wasn't pretty pretty bad. Um, yeah. Now, the road to WrestleMania 40 begins. Elimination Chamber is over now. The road to WrestleMania 40 begins. And uh, by the way, uh, happy 10th anniversary of the WWE Network. And uh, yeah, WWE Network started 10 years ago today. And uh. Ten years ago today, the WWE Network was born, and now in 2024, it ends. It ends. It ends this year, dude. Because because they're doing a deal with Netflix, WWE. And uh, see what I'm gonna tell you. What shows aired? What were the first shows that aired on the WWE Network? Yeah. Uh. Here's their little schedule, JD. If you're watching this, at 9 a.m. 9 a.m. started at 9 a.m. in the morning, man. 9 a.m. The first program to air was WrestleMania Rewind. WrestleMania, the first WrestleMania, Hulk Hogan and Mr. T versus Roddy Piper and Paul Orndorff. And at 10 a.m. they aired the WWE Countdown, coolest catchphrases. And uh, at 11 a.m., the best of NXT, best of 2013 NXT special. And at 12 p.m., the um, little they aired the 2000, the, the February 19, 2014 edition of WWE Main Event with the Wyatt Family versus Los Matadores and Sin Cara. Then at 1 p.m., they aired the WWE Superstars from the date was two, February 20, 2014. Cody Rose, the son of the late. The late American Dream Dusty Rose versus the son of the late American late Mr. Perfect, Kurt Henning. Then at 2 p.m. they aired the WWE Beyond the Ring, Greatest Rivalries with Shawn Michaels versus Bret Hart with WWE DVD. Then at 4 p.m. they aired This is NXT. Then they aired the WrestleMania, then they aired repeat of WrestleMania 1 from March 31st, 1985. First WrestleMania, then a Raw pre-show. Then it, uh, then it, and, and Hulk Hogan return made his return. Now Monday Night Raw, Hulk Hogan made his return to the WWE. And uh, 8 p.m. on WWE Network, they had be um the repeat Beyond the Ring. Then at 10 p.m. they aired the Legends, the Legends of Wrestling. Then at 11 p.m. they aired the Raw and Raw Backstage Pass and 11 30 WWE WrestleMania Rewind. And uh, ten and twenty and, Ch and JD. Here's some pop culture for you today. If you're watching this video. Uh, Thirty years ago today, the prince, prince, the late prince, um, 
The formerly artist known as Prince's hit single, The Most Beautiful Girl in the World, was released on this day. His hit single, the date was February 24, 1994. And God rest, God rest his soul, Prince. We miss you. And, uh... There's some little history for you, Jetty, for watching this video. So that's all I have to do for all of you um, wrestling fans from the Godfather show, Justin Lewis Fleming. Hit like, make, comment on the video. And, um, Elimination Chamber was both bad and good. They shit on, they shit on, um, I mean, I mean, they crapped on Liv Morgan, they shit it on all Orton, L.A. Knight, and Kevin Owens. Feel bad for Raquel. I mean, she's going to be that. She's going to die in a couple of weeks. She has MCA, MCA, MCAS. But she still strong, have a little strength in her. But she still has disease. So subscribe to me, The Godfather Soul, just Louis Fleming. Hit like, make, comment on the video. And, uh... Hope all of you have a good morning. But it's almost afternoon since it's almost after almost noon because it's 11:42 right now. So subscribe to me, Godfather Soldier Lewis Fleming, and uh, congratulations to uh, congratulations to um, Rita the Horror Ripley. But make no mistake about it, kiss that, kiss that, kiss that um, WWE WWE um women's title. Goodbye. The raw ones talk goodbye, and, and you know, I forgot, one thing I've got to mention um, about Rhea Ripley. I remember Chad Godbert's soul said that someone should not Rhea Ripley on her high horse and all that stuff, and he was right. And I hope Liv Morgan does not knock her on her, um, on her high horse when she costs Rhea Ripley the raw ones title and help Liv Morgan and help be a Becky Lynch win it, because that's karma. Because what goes around comes around after putting her out of action. About a year ago, a year ago. So subscribe to me, Godfather Soul, Justin Lewis Fleming. Hit like, make a comment, video. I'm out of here. Peace. And here's some.